This video illustrates the use of Inventor in finding the buoyancy of my boat. From my previous video, Displacement and Draft, I'm left with the immersed volume or the volumetric displacement of my boat, so I've left that on. I also turned on three planes, my base plane, my center plane, and my station zero forward perpendicular. Where those three intersect, I have my reference point, and my reference point is coincident with my center point of the entire part file, and that way all the dimensions come from the same spot. You'll also notice that it looks like there's a disconnect because the hull does not touch the forward perpendicular, but recall that the only portion of my hull that touched the forward perpendicular was above the waterline, so this disconnect is correct. My reference point does not change. To find the center of buoyancy, I just go to my hull eye properties, and in my X, I have my longitudinal center of buoyancy, and in my Z, I have my vertical center of buoyancy. Since my hull is symmetric, there is no such thing as a transverse center of buoyancy. The next thing I need to do is find my longitudinal center of flotation. Since I know that my design water plane is at six inches, I'm going to make a new UCS at six inches. Uh, it's gonna go straight up, so my X component is gonna be zero, my Y component is gonna be zero, and my Z component is gonna be six inches. So there's my new UCS. I need to create a new sketch of my design water plane area. So I'm going to go to my UCS, my XY plane. I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to project the geometry of the design water plane area, which is shown in yellow lines. And since my origin is now at my new UCS, I can go to inspect region properties click this new region that is now available to me from the yellow lines, click calculate, and it shows that my longitudinal center flotation from this origin is almost uh, 42 and a half, or it is 42 and a half inches.